I'm Molly and I'm the makeup artist here at Gina Camage Salon and Spa. This is my beautiful model Gina and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy makeup routine that you can do at home in five minutes or less. So we're going to start with complexion first and just even out her skin tone. I'm going to use a BB cream which has become really popular recently. Um, it's a big trend in makeup right now and it's great because it's a multitasker. It gives a little bit of sheer coverage. You can build it to make it more full. You can apply this with your fingers because it doesn't really need to be expertly applied. Um, you can also use a sponge or you can use a brush like I'm doing. Next, I'm going to do a concealer just to brighten under the eyes. So this is a concealer pen, so I love it around the eye area. And I also love it because it's really nice and fluid. Um, I don't like anything too dry. This is also great for any little patch of redness, blemish, freckle, age spot, whatever needs a little extra help and coverage. So I'm going to start with a cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna use one color at two different intensities. So I'm gonna do a really sheer wash of the cream eyeshadow on the whole lid, and then I'm gonna do it a little bit darker in the crease. Um, you can use your fingers to apply cream eyeshadow, um, but you can also use a brush if you wanna get a little bit more precision or if you're using a darker color. And then I'm gonna do a little thin line of eyeliner right across the top. Eyeliner really makes the eyes stand out and it just kind of acts as a backdrop for your lashes. So it really helps your lashes look a lot thicker and fuller. And I would definitely do eyeliner across the top. Doing it on the bottom is optional. It's kind of personal preference. You can also take the little smudging tip of the eyeliner and use it to smudge out your top line. And then you can use whatever's left in the little smudging tip to smudge against the lower lash line just so you get a little soft definition as opposed to a thick hard line on the bottom. I'm going to do a little mascara. Just about anyone can do black mascara. I would say unless you're a really fair skinned um, blonde or maybe a redhead, they should probably stick with brown. I usually like to do just a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes just for a little extra definition. I'm gonna do a little blush and bronzer to add color and contour back to the face. Um, I always like to start with bronzer first just to make the face look really sculpted and chiseled. I also like to do it kind of like a W across the face. So I like to do a little down below the cheekbone, up one side of the nose, down the other, and right back under the cheekbone. And then I'm gonna do a little blush right on the little round part of the cheek. And it's totally buildable, same with the bronzer. So this is one of my favorite multitasking products. Um, it's a big lip pencil, so you can line your lips almost like it's a lip liner. You can fill it right in, almost like it's lipstick. And it does have a nice glossy shine to it. So it's pretty much like lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss all in one. So I have one last finishing touch for Gina, and it's actually a brow gel. Brow gels are nice because they're really quick and easy. It kind of rains in all the brows, so it's great if you have longer brows or kind of bushy eyebrows. Um, it's also great to give coverage, and it deposits a little color too, which is nice because if you have gray eyebrows, it kind of covers all that up, and that's it. So that's our five minute face. I hope you learned some new tips and tricks for your makeup routine. Come visit us at Gina Kamaj Salon and Spa. You can find us online at ginacamaj.com.